Welcome to a training resource for case planning. This is part one, which assumes there will be a part two. Now the focus of part one is to make sure your staff effectively completes case plans that can meet evidence-based standards. And so we just want to go through the list. Some of this will be redundant, but it's helpful for your staff to understand and make sure that they all are hearing the same thing at the same time. Now the research is pretty clear that there are eight components to case planning. And it's important that they begin at one and end at eight. There's a sequence to these. So make sure that your staff can identify, identify each of these in the correct order. That being said, the real secret to case planning is goal setting. And using some research from Locke and Latham, we've identified that there are five specific things that goals must have if they're going to be motivational. And so we've listed that. Uh, in, in your notes, we've talked about clarity, we talk about challenge, commitment, we talk about feedback and task complexity. You don't need to read these on the screen, they're printed in your notes section for you, but make sure that you've gone through each of these and can give specific examples of how these will actually fit in to the case plan. It would be a good idea to have your staff bring a case plan with them that you could use as a sample as well as an IRAS so they can make the connection between the risk factors and the goal setting in, in the case plan. So once we get that under understood, then we've got to be able to translate clarity, challenge, commitment, feedback, and task complexity into SMART goals, and I would say case plan SMART goals, where we've made a little bit of a tweak. Rather than attainable, we talk about agreed. We need client buy-in here. Rather than relevant, we're talking about realistic. What's the time frame that these can be done? Remember, the goal is client or customer focused on the case plan. This case plan is not for the case manager, it's for the client. For that reason, we've kind of put an equation together. It's, uh, it's a success equation. The case plan times the client commitment to that plan equals the benefit or outcome to the client. If you have the, the best case plan, it's an eight out of 10, it's above average, but the client commitment is two, your total score or benefit is 16 out of 100. That's not very good. But if you have a below average case plan, but a high level of commitment because the client formed it, notice you've doubled your success rate because the client commitment is so important in the success of the case plan. This is a tough thing to have, uh, or a tough thing for, for case managers to understand, that the client commitment is just as important as the case plan. So for that reason, we've put a case planning conversation pattern together and it's based on the acronym of SHAPE. We set the context and the outcome. We're building client uh, relationships here. Why are you here? What needs to happen next, etc. But then we've got to get to the real issue. What's happening now? What's the current state? What's the starting point? The IRAS and the court documents are going to give us that. What do you see wanting to happen? What's the aim? Where do we need to get to? Whatever the time frame is, we know we need to get to a desired state and ending point. Here's where we're starting. Here's where we need to end. The plan is what gets us there. The case plan takes me from today to where I need to be to complete what the court has told me I need to complete. And then we add the expectations in. Before you leave that meeting, you're going to move into the case management section next. Before you leave, everybody needs to clearly have spelled out for them what do we expect from each other, what's next, what's the accountability. And in doing this, it will allow the presentation of the case plan to move right into case management. So these are critical components. Shape is a pattern that can use, be used for any case planning or case management conversation.